The gathering of academia and former Canadian parliamentarians deliberated on what it called Boko Haram, the crisis of the Nigerian state and the importance of a peaceful election on March 28, 2015. High Commissioner Ujo Marukwe said, while the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has tried to keep the nation together in the last 16 years, the crisis of the Nigerian state did not start with President Goodluck Jonathan's administration. He stressed that previous regimes contributed to the challenge while the international community also has a fair share. After 9-11, this is still where we are. Look, before Gaddafi was taken from Libya, Boko Haram wasn't a major issue. Yeah, there was some violence here and there, but we were already making pro and taking them out. But once Gaddafi was moved out, all those weapons, those arms and ammunitions that Gaddafi was stockpiling was awash in the Sahelian region. Of course, they came over to Nigeria. While we take our own responsibility in terms of the crisis of state you talked about, the international community also has its own role. What is it doing to make sure that what we've been pushing for in terms of containing the the, the uh, flow of arms, the illicit flow of arms in Africa is them. On whether the presidential election will hold on March 28th, High Commissioner Madwekwe comments. The election will take place, but this one election will not be enough to address the crisis of the state. What will begin to address the crisis of the state, and mark my words, is a national conference which you alluded to. If for no other reason that Nigeria should vote for President Goodluck Jonathan, they should vote for him because he was the one president who had the courage to convoke a national conference. And this national conference, the recommendations are to ensure you address the crisis of the Nigerian state in terms of devolution of powers, in terms of greater accountability, in terms of institutional capacity to fight corruption. From the Monk School of Global Affairs in Toronto, Canada, Joy Useago, NTA News.